Happy Friday! Hope everybody's had a great week. Today, we're making a tin fill. So remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. What is a Tim Philly? Well, let me tell you. It's yummy. We're gonna cut him up and serve him oh. on a No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's an awesome sandwich. Yes, it's a play on a Philly cheese steak. We uh, used to work at this old restaurant. Oh, it's been about seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And someone wanted something to eat and didn't want, of course, just a regular menu item. So you came up with your own kind of sandwich variation. So, I mean, it was delicious. Ew, it's super good. Yes, and the key point or is this Chipotle Tabasco. Now, some Tabasco products, I admit, I'm not a huge fan of, but this Chipotle one, oh, makes the sandwich just Yeah, and also, a lot of Chipotle products were, aren't really that great, but it's a yes, good Chipotle that, flavor, too. Yes, and uh, Chipotle, honestly, is a little overplayed. But yeah. this one is really good. I still like this. Most of the other Chipotle stuff, not a fan of. Yeah. But our first thing is first, we'll go over. We got some peppers. We got a bell pepper, some sweet peppers. Those are the cool little, these tiny guys are delicious. Um, some jalapenos, pickled jalapenos. I like the sliced ones. I like the ones you get in the can with the carrots and everything. Oh, so good. In fact, my mouth is still on fire because I was snacking on those carrots before this. <laughs> and, of course, some sweet onions. And I'm going to tell you, we got these little frozen uh, meat pucks. I know they're like steakums, but I found that the generic ones actually come in the pucks. Steakums, some of them come flat. I prefer the pucks. And we're going to be using a baby Swiss cheese and a little hoagie roll or sub roll. It's that simple. So first things first, we're going to throw our butter on and we're using our Blackstone griddle. We haven't used it in quite a while, but love it. Had it for years. So we're gonna take our, start with our veggies. We're gonna get them working before we do our meat. Take some peppers. And this is really no right or wrong way. You like a lot of peppers, use a lot of peppers. You don't like a lot of peppers, get a different sandwich. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> don't use that many peppers. Yeah, don't so, have a Philly. We're only making two of them, so we're gonna have some leftover. I'm gonna add some more jalapenos. I really wanna punish myself. <laughs> <coughs> and we're just gonna toss that around right in the oil. Quite simple, or the butter. Get that working. And then of course, we're gonna season it. Since finding the Slap Your Mama, I mean, we used to use Lowry's. Yeah. This stuff is really good, so we're gonna be using that today. It really does have a nice flavor to it. And of course, my good friend, Pepper. The Pepper. I do love Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our, our seasoning. And we really, we're gonna cook this for about five minutes or so. You don't want to completely cook it because we still gotta cook the meat. But total cook time will be about 10 minutes. The meat's gonna take about five minutes. That's why I love this sandwich. It's quick, it's easy. That's why we made it at the restaurant. It was a quick, fast way to make lunch. And of course, I'm gonna take a little bit of our good Worcestershire and throw on a few drops. And so we're just gonna let that cook and uh, until it's slightly caramelized. All right, our veggies are looking perfect. They're not completely done, but that's fine because we're gonna park them over here so they're gonna continue to cook but they're not gonna be on the hottest part of the griddle. Now, we're just gonna take our little meat pucks and throw them down. It's simple, you can keep them frozen. In fact, you wanna keep them frozen. And then again, we're gonna take our seasoning, gonna season the top, just a little bit, a little bit of pepper. And this, I'm gonna go ahead, all you need is two minutes. I like timers, I just do. It makes it my life help. a lot easier. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Sometimes my internal timer can be off. And now I'm just gonna slap a little Worcestershire on the top. And mm. as it cooks, it's just gonna kinda soak down. And Ooh. that's that good Worcestershire. Yes, and don't worry, this is coming next. But we wait, we put that at the end so you really get the flavor. Oh, so mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's yummy. So we're gonna let that go for two minutes. I got a couple of buns. Once we get everything, we'll throw them on the other side of the griddle 
toast them a little bit, and then uh, our sandwich will be uh, ready to build. All right, our little timer went off. So see how simple? It's a flip. It's as easy as I that. It's very anticlimactic, but we're gonna season this side and for about another two minutes, and then we'll start breaking it all up and incorporating everything, getting the veggies tossed together. Mm. Oh, don't forget a little extra Worcestershire. I mean, you don't like Worcestershire, just... you're probably not gonna like the sandwich. Yeah, but I mean, it's just an easy sandwich. There's no fuss, no muss. That's why I love this griddle. Can do things like that's what I forgot. We haven't had these in years. I know. And we were thinking about what can we do on the griddle because, hey, we're making a cocktail on the griddle. That's going to be cool. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, yeah, the little the smash taco. Yeah, huh, dude, that's that's actually pretty good. So that that's uh, so that this was a fun thing. We hadn't had these in years. I'm talking years. And they're like, well, why don't we do the old Philly? Mm-hmm. And that's what we did. But as you can see, this meat is starting to get soft, so you're just going to take your big spatula, Kind of start breaking it, spreading it apart. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, these little pucks, they cook really fast and quick, so this is a great quick lunch, simple, the longest thing are the vegetables. Yeah. But now we're gonna flip and we're gonna start working, working our uh, our steak. So there, and then the fun part, the chopping. <laughs> Are mixing all that together. All right, that's pretty almost, see, almost done. We're gonna throw in our veggies, start getting them mixed around. And while we do that, we're gonna throw down a little butter in the back so that we can get, we're gonna get our bread toasted. And whatever Ooh. excess butter you have, just bring it to the meat pile. A little extra butter never hurt nobody. I mean, unless you have heart problems. <laughs> yeah, that might might hurt that kind of person. So we're just gonna let that toast. Cook this all around. And then we, I mean, you can do as many sandwiches as you want. We're just doing two. So I'm gonna kind of get the vegetables evenly mixed up. And then I will separate our two piles, put our cheese on. Let that guy melt. All right. Simple as that. Some more peppers on that guy. Well, then we gotta grab our, we're using baby Swiss, of course. You can use provolone. You can use cheddar. Again, this sandwich is, uh, is what you want. Yeah. Now we just gotta let it melt. Take our lid, give it a little help. That's melting, I'm gonna grab a little mayo. All right. Now you don't have to use the mayo, but I like a little extra flavor. As soon as I mayo this guy up, I'm sure that sandwich will be ready. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Just slide it over. Careful, those juices will be hot. And there you have it, the Tim Philly. <laughs> oh, I know, huh? See, we're about to eat. That's why we made two of them. Because, you know, we don't just make this stuff and throw it away. We make it to eat it. So that's why we hope you guys will eat it. That's we're right. We're loving it. Oh, look at that guy. There's your sandwich. I'm ready. All I'm right. Ready to eat. You know, I was so excited because we haven't had this sandwich in a while. <laughs> I almost forgot the best part. I know. So I'm just That's... gonna shake a, man, this stuff isn't super spicy, so you can just lay it on thick. It's delicious too. So, I mean, oh, there's probably. a point to put as much as he's putting. Yeah, because this is the key. <laughs> I can't believe. That's how exciting, I love this sandwich. You can smell in here. Woo. All right. Now it's ready to dig in. So come on over here. I'm coming. To get your Tim Philly on a silver platter? Yes. I'm 
super excited. But I can't wait for this. Let's, oh. let's do this. Mm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Even after all these years, so good. Oh yeah. I love that sandwich. <laughs> so good. Me too. It is messy, not gonna lie, but that's a mark of a good sandwich. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just awesome. It's great. The jalapenos, that little bit of spice, the chipotle, again, that chipotle Tabasco isn't super hot, mm -hmm. but the flavor of it is so perfect. The baby swizz. Oh, I can't say enough about this sandwich. Except you should try it. Yeah, you definitely should try this. This and for how easy it is. Yeah, it's great. Oh. You can do it anywhere. That's what's fun. Even if you don't have the black stone, you can do yeah. it in a cast iron. Uh, you could do it in a, just a pan. Any yeah, anything I mean, that you got, you can make fun it. With it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, y'all gotta go because we gotta eat, eat these sandwiches. Yeah, we are hungry. So remember, like, subscribe. Hit the bell, all that fun stuff. And yeah. remember, keep camping and keep cooking. Yeah. And keep eating. Oh, I am. Told you we were gonna eat it all. Yeah, we did. Mm. Well, almost.